Hi Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple things before we start. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. Details uh, regarding personal readings, also details how to win a free personal reading. And then lastly, um, there will be an extended reading link in the description box. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. It will also be in the comments as well. Uh, I will look at the next uh, four weeks energy moving forward from this reading. I treat it like a personal reading and I'll have some more details about that later. So again, link is in description box and in comments. So with that, let's pull your energies here in love. Let's see what the main energies are here for Scorpio. My beautiful Scorpios in love. Let's see what the energy is here for you. Okay, we got the Seven of Cups. Oh, can't turn this around here. We have here the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Two of Staffs. And let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck here, we have, um, whoa, got a spill here. I see the star card here, got Aquarius energy there. And we have the Hierophant, okay, Taurus energy. So some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. We also have here, um, I feel like we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or your energy, Pisces. Someone I feel here, Scorpio, is questioning, okay, whether or not um, there is potential for a relationship. Bottom line, that's what I'm picking up here. I feel like, you know, it's someone thinking about you, okay? Someone is, um, I feel, maybe having some mixed emotions. This is also a planning energy, so this person may be planning, right? Maybe to come towards you, wanting a relationship, but there's something here about the seven of vessels. Now it could be, this could be somebody in your life, maybe you have options, or maybe this could be about you making healthy choices. This two staffs can be you as well. So we'll pull some tarot um, and we'll see, we'll clarify what's needed as well. But I'm gonna first pull some of these love oracles. Let's see what the energy is here for you, Scorpio. What else can you tell Scorpio? Okay, we're going to cut the cards for this deck too. Let's see what the main energies are here. Okay, interesting. We've got date here. We have grass is greener. Okay, someone's got options here. Okay, whether, um, whether it's you, Scorpio, or somebody else. Okay, and the truth. Somebody's questioning here. Okay, someone's questioning this connection. Someone in this connection, I feel, may have options. And we also have here home. Somebody's not feeling content um, or secure about um, a, this connection, okay? So whether it's you or whether it's this person, it may be somebody here who's wondering if you're, you know, going on dates, okay? Somebody here, I feel, is exploring options. I'm going to put all of this with the Seven of Cups because I feel like a lot of the energy there here is about someone wanting the truth and clarity about, I feel, where this relationship or this connection here is going is what I see here, okay? Or someone sees the potential here with you, Scorpio, and they could be jealous, okay? This could be a jealous energy here. Uh, maybe they feel you're dating other people or seeing other people. Uh, you know, I always say for Scorpios, I always feel like you have options, okay? So, or maybe this person thinks that you have options here. So, let's see what else the energy shows here for you, Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. What other messages do we have here for Scorpio? Okay, yeah, look at that Ace of Swords. I just definitely get a truth energy there. Page of Swords, okay, somebody's spying on you, Scorpio. <laughs> somebody's spying on you. And I feel like they may be thinking that maybe you're dating someone or you have options. They're curious, okay, and they're struggling with the potential. They're struggling with the potential here that you could be dating someone. Wow, and bottom of the deck here, we have the Chariot and we have the Star card, Cancer, Cancerian and... Um, what am I trying to say? Aquarius energy. And we have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. 
So interesting. I feel like there's somebody here, Scorpio, it could be you too. Someone here in this connection, I feel, um, has the hope that there could be some sort of change or movement towards something more stable and secure here between you and someone. It feels like someone here has options or someone may have walked away because they felt they had better options. Um, but let's see what else comes out here. What else does Scorpio need to know? Please share with Scorpio what they need to know. Okay, there you are. Scorpio energy. The High Priestess. Okay, this person thinks you're being secretive is what I feel here. We got a Knight of Wands here, okay? Someone's coming towards you or they may be feeling like you're being um, hot and cold with them or... Uh, they may feel that you have a new lever here with the Knight of Wands. We've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be somebody returning into your life. Let's keep going so I can feel what else. Yeah, Three of Cups. Oh, boy. Could be a third-party situation. Queen of Wands. And we have the Seven of Swords. Okay. Someone here in this connection, uh, Scorpio, I feel... Is being a bit secretive. Somebody here, um, I feel there could be a third party situation here, someone having options, someone wanting to know the truth, and someone making a decision here. Is there, um, is there the possibility for something long term and committed? Okay, a relationship here. We have the world and we have the wheel of fortune. Interesting. We got the Seven of Wands here and the Ten of Cups. There's some sort of change here. This is what I'm picking up. Some sort of change here that's about to happen. I feel that, Scorpio, this is leading you to who you're, you're destined to be with. Let's see what else. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. What other messages do we have here for Scorpio? Okay, we got an Emperor, Aries Energy. We got um, a Magician and the Eight of Swords. Let's see what else here. We got an Ace of Pentacles. We got the Hanged One. Oh my gosh. And we have a Hermit, Virgo Energy. And we also have here the Two of Swords. Okay. There's a difficult decision here, Scorpio. Whether it's you or whether it's this person, okay, you may be feel, you know, what I, I'm going to read it this way. You take the rules how they resonate with you, okay? I feel like there's someone here, okay? It could be an, uh, a fire sign here. It could be um, a Pisces or a Cancerian. There's someone here that may be feeling like you are secretive here. This is someone who's interested in you. I'm seeing this fire sign up here too. This is someone questioning here. I feel like you may have other options. You may be dating other people here. They're trying to find out the truth here. I see them spying, okay? And they're struggling here, okay? They're struggling about the thought. This feels like so be somebody that's jealous. You've got the Three of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and we also have here the Seven of Swords, okay? I feel like this could be someone, you know, maybe you dated um, or somebody you know, that is from your past, that they may be feeling like you're moving on and you're out there dating and meeting other people. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? Now, we have uh, the Emperor, the Magician, the Eight of Swords. So this is someone who can't get you off of their, their mind here, okay? They're trying to manifest you here. It feels like they could be someone who's a bit um, controlling, um, could even, you know, I feel like they could be controlling or they want to have it their way here, but they're not seeing that. They're seeing, I feel you move on, you may be out there, maybe you're just going out with friends, you're having a good time, you're looking good, okay? And then we have here the Ace of Pentacles, we got the Hangman and the hermit it also feels like this could be somebody here who you know maybe they weren't stable in the past maybe they couldn't make a decision around a relationship and now you've got this person thinking about the long term here 
you got this person feeling like they are in limbo and this could have been somebody that kept you in limbo in the past because someone you were here in the past couldn't make a decision around a relationship and i feel somebody moved on and i'm going to read it as you scorpio i feel like you may have moved on here from somebody and now you know and this may be someone that kept you in limbo and now this person <laughs> this is the person here i feel is feeling in limbo okay i'm going to get a few more uh cards here what else can you share with scorpio what else can you share with Scorpio about this connection? Okay, five of wands, seven of pentacles. Yeah, it, it, they, they think there's competition here. Okay, but let's see what else. Yeah, lovers, there's a choice. Okay, maybe you have a choice here, uh, Scorpio, between two. Interesting enough. But someone's, I feel, reflecting here. Could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We also have here... Uh, Gemini energy. And there could be somebody who interfered in this connection too. What else? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, someone feels left out in the cold. Queen of Cups. Yeah. So Scorpio, they don't feel that you're giving, okay, you're giving to this connection anymore here. And you got the Hierophant, you got Justice here, and you got the uh, Queen of Pentacles. Someone's to coming towards you wanting a, re a reconciliation, a union here. We got Taurus and we also have Sagittarius energy. It feels like there's been some time here. This could be someone you dated in the past. Someone I feel is coming towards you. They want to make an offer. We got Cancerian energy here. Okay. This is someone I feel upcoming here. They're coming towards you with communication and they're hoping. They're hoping you're going to receive them well and you have the, the uh, full card. Okay. Yeah. Someone from your past. They want to work on things here. Seven of Cups. Again, that Seven of Cups and the Wheel. This could be someone coming back for some clarity. This could be someone who's coming back for some clar clarity. You know, I'm almost feeling that energy here, right? Um, why you moved on, okay? Interesting energy. Okay, let's pull some more cards here. I'm going to pull some more cards and see here. How is this person coming towards Scorpio? How is this person coming towards Scorpio? Okay, justice. Okay, they want to make something right with you. Bring things back into balance. Two of swords. This is a difficult this is the difficult decision they're trying to make. Feels like there could be little or no contact between you and this person. Yeah, they want happiness again with you, um, Scorpio. Page of Cups, yeah, they're hoping for a new beginning, new, uh, that's Cupid's arrow, getting ready to strike here. This is someone they're going to reach out, they're going to do something simple, they're going to break the silence here, I feel, between you and them. You've got the Four of Wands here, okay, they're, they're hoping for a relationship here. Got the King of Swords here and the Eight of Coin. This is someone I feel they could come across a bit cold or distant or detached, okay? But this is someone they're hoping that you're going to receive this communication. This is what I see upcoming here, Six of Wands. They're hoping for a victory here. And I just have to say you have the tower here, okay? And you may not even be expecting to hear from this person, because it's almost like you moved on from this person, Scorpio, or in their eyes, you have moved on here. I feel like you haven't talked to this person in quite some time. And it feels like there could be other options around you or you're dating uh, other people. Okay, or that's how they see you. And this is someone I feel they're coming towards you now. Okay, hoping that you're going to you're going to entertain this interesting i'm going to pull um some more love oracles what else can you share with scorpio what else does scorpio need to know about this person coming towards them 
So Scorpio and the extended, I, I'll look at the next uh, four weeks energy to see timing about when this communication's coming in. Also, I will dive deeper into your person, what they're thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, their intentions, love notes, and guidance. Okay, oh look at that. Liquid courage. So they're trying to take they're trying to get the confidence here. I mean, I wouldn't even uh, be surprised. Some of you could even get, you know, that drunk text here. Okay. They're taking a chance here with the roll of dice, divine timing here. Some timing has passed. I feel like some timing has passed between you and this person. If it you know, not everybody is gonna be someone who's drinking and texts you. This can also talk about this person coming towards you and they may display some sort of odd behavior okay they may say something they've never said before or whatever it's because they feel a little bit awkward this person feels awkward coming towards you but they're breaking the silence is what i sense here regret yeah they're regretting something there's something about regret could be um they made a mistake here in this connection in the past it could be um, an apology energy, okay? They may have ghosted you or they may, you know, maybe this person rejected you or they just went silent on you, okay? That's why it's awkward for this person. That's why for some of you that, you know, you may get that drunk text or, you know, that text where they can openly say <laughs> what they want to say, but it may not be that. Yeah, they're having anxiety about this. Okay, they're um, restless. This could be uh, sleepless nights thinking of you. Oh my gosh, yeah, and look, proposal, because they want to love, they want to give you a love offer here. Proposal, and you also have here reconciliation. So they're hoping for a reconciliation, a second chance, a reunion here. Uh, Scorpio, they miss you, and they're worried. Okay, they're really curious and worried if you are seeing somebody else. Okay, so let's see what the lovers oracles have to say. Thank you, spirit and angels for your guidance. What other messages do you have for Scorpio? Okay, so you have balance. It says here, love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. This person's coming back around wanting to bring balance here into this connection. So if they were not giving in the past, this is someone who wants to come towards you. Okay, they're going to show you that they are more giving or more supportive than maybe they were in the past. You also have here, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with, with faith here, okay? So this is an opportunity for this you and this person to make things right. It will be your choice, right? Whether you wanna go down this path with this person or maybe some of you are dating new people and you wanna continue on that path. But really what the new path is here is that there's an opportunity for you and this person to make good with whatever happened in the past. And that means that, you know, you could forgive for whatever happened, let go. Maybe this person gets the answers, the clarity that they need and vice versa. And you two go on your way. But there, there is an opportunity here of a reconciliation with this person if you want it. Let's see what else we have here. We have power here. It says you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. And yes, that is definitely this energy here is what I'm seeing. Let's get one more here. Okay. So it says here, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing, okay? I get a very eternal love energy, okay? So this could be someone that the two of you have a very strong uh, love connection, okay? You two will always be drawn to each other no matter what. I feel, you know, whether you decide to, um, you know, reconcile with this person or, in, you know, that's this lover's energy, Okay, the two of you will always be drawn to each other. There's a magnetic attraction between the two of you. So Scorpio, um, I hope this reading helped you. I'm going to take it to the extended. We're going to see how this plays out. I hope to see you there. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.